So on to the third most common question we get from clients. So question number one is, how do we generate an income from our assets in a very low deposit environment? Question two is, how's Ireland getting on and what's your view, particularly about the housing market? And the third thing everyone asks us is, well, the S&P 500 is about to go through 2000. <coughs> Have we missed the boat? Are equities completely overvalued at this point in time? And, and Brian, I might go back to you again on that one. The easy question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, fortunately for investors, I mean, we're getting very little in cash. That's just a fact of life at the moment. As Robbie said, it's going to remain that way for a while. Unfortunately, the next safest asset class, government bonds, I mean, Irish five-year at 0.8, German uh, uh, 12-month at 0.1%. At really, you know, the central banks are trying to get everybody to go out and spend. Um, you know, as an investor, we've really been bailed out by the returns from equities. As Paul said, the S&P 500 is now up 190% since its March 2009 lows. Uh, if you watch CNBC Bloomberg, increasingly you'll hear about uh, bubbles in the property market or in the equity market, which completely understandable. Um, and I got to say, when we have a look at the valuation, this slide here shows the uh, one of the metrics we look at, the forward price of earnings multiple for global equities. Now, 12 to 18 months ago, we were very comfortable saying to clients, equities are cheap at 12 times PE. We think equities are a good buy. 30% rally last year, not matched by a similar rise in earnings has led to a re-rating of the market. Again, that's consistent with what we see uh, in recoveries, but at 15 times today, we can't say that equities are cheap. Um, so I think as investors, we need to moderate our return expectations going forward. We're still gonna get very little from bonds and cash. Uh, property, hedge funds may be able to compensate. We're not